welcome beautiful people to another video um in this video i want to just go over acid soaps and body lotions there was a video i made some time ago about the uk team out food loose at food list that was provided by the university of college london hospitals and it gives you a guideline of what you could eat if you possibly have team out there's a green list uh amber list I believe and then a red list of things you should avoid things you should eat cautiously and things you should eat and but with also within this document or this PDF there is other things that they were uh, explaining you should try to try to reduce the amount of trimethylamine or TMA within within your body and one of those things was actually using certain soaps or low pH soaps if I can go to the correct page here uh i think i'm close nope nope it was no, page six um it was page six okay so it says here although t mount is not related to personal hygiene it might be useful to use soaps with a moderate ph of 5.5 to 6.5 as tma is an alkaline compound ph 9.8 Using a lower pH body wash or moisturizer can make the TMA less volatile and easier to remove through washing. And at the bottom of the list, they have a list of pH value soaps. Not only can you find the list of pH value soaps, uh, it has soaps, it has cleansers, it also has lotions. You can also find this on the Mebo blog, and it says list of pH list of the pH of common cleansers for suggested trimethylene manuria management and they also have a laundry list of different products from cleansers to most of them are actually cleansers to soaps soap bars and things of that nature um, I saw this all this information um, if you actually look if you could if you look closely at the list there's a name of the product and the pH value which is great to know and I thought it would be cool to try to compile a list of all these products into a spreadsheet. Um, and that's what I did. So, right here, I created a spreadsheet with Google. I, th I think it's called Google Sheets or Google Spreadsheet. It's pretty much Excel, but for Google. And I did this a long time ago, and I'm just making this video right now. But I made sure to try to get all the products from the Mebo blog to the UK team out food list and put them all in one spreadsheet with and divide them up or have the different types uh, that is associated with the product so um, the name of the product the pH level the amount of ounces within that product the type of product the price and where you can go and shop them now I do have to say this um, I did this a long time ago. I did this like somewhere within April while coronavirus is happening and within that time period a lot of things were a lot of products were 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 unavailable because a lot of people were buying them off the shelves because I, I don't know people were just buying stuff impulsively because they felt like this is gonna be the last time they're ever going to get this product so I wasn't able to get all the products um find all the products that were like on Amazon I would have to go to random or other sources uh, other places to find uh, products uh, that have this in addition to that I do want to say this too um, there were also a lot of products within the Mebo page where they spoke vaguely about just the product in itself for example uh, Dermalogica exfoliants so there's different varieties of exfoliants for derm Dermalogica I just picked the first one that I saw um on the page and then and then put the price and put the ph level and stuff like that so that's another thing i had to warn i think there's something else uh, i really wanted to say only other thing i wanted to say was when i went through the list i found out that most of them were cleansers most of the list uh, if you could you know when you combine this list of products and the products of that's on the uk team out food list most of them are cleansers matter of fact I have a chart um, right here that shows that's 48 percent of the products within this within this um, low pH product list um, are actually cleansers and I think the second one is the second most 
the second biggest is soap bars which is 18.5 another thing is I also have a list or I'm in mean, a graph that shows the varying price levels it has uh, there's about about 54 different products on here and the highest one is $89.99 I don't even know where that's from um, let's see I can't find where it's from but the lowest is actually a dollar sixty one so that's very interesting typically most of them are around the twenty dollar range or less actually most of them are actually under twenty dollars most of them seem to be around like ten dollars or so uh, but yeah I just wanted to create this spreadsheet because if anybody wanted to actually look into these types of products and purchase them It'll be all available within these links um, I also have several other tabs for for products that are specifically of the type um, like I said earlier most of these are cleansers and there are a few types that are not really there are only just one type for example a hand wash Colgate palm palm motive palm olive palm olive I said palm olive palm olive aquarium hand wash is only one expect and soap or lotion I mean allergenic skin soothing body lotion is one too now naturally I think lotion and moisturizers are pretty much the same thing but they probably aren't however I have like several tabs for several of the biggest uh, product types like body wash cleansers moisturizers and soap bars and within this I have each of them have some graphs I know graphs yeah graphs um, that show the pH level that corresponds to like uh, the um, the name of the product and if you go to 2.8 it's probably pretty hard to see 2.8 which I think is the lowest pH level is the Neutrogena deep clean cream cleanser and if you see here okay, deep clean cream cleanser here and if you see here if you can click on one of the links you can actually go and possibly purchase one of these things so I wanted to make it a lot easier for people if they wanted to pur purchase any type of product that has low pH soaps cleansers body wash moisturizers you have the ability just to click on the link purchase it if you want to I'm gonna make this spreadsheet available so if anybody wants to look take a look at this information they can um, I also want to just read this passage before I go it says here use of acid soaps and body lotions trimethylamine is a strong base of uh, pH 9.8 thus that's pH 6.0 less than 0 0.02 of trimethylamine exists at the volatile free base. The use of soaps and body lotions with a pH close to that of normal skin helps retain secreted trimethylamine in a less volatile salt form that can be removed by washing. Pretty much the same thing that was said within the PDF. So that's why it's important. Um, probably going to do other things, but yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I appreciate people for watching. I'm going to put this down in links so people can take a look at it if you're interested. Uh, other than that, have a good day.